Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm your boy, Double A Nine Skills. This is the Dortmund Career Mode. Welcome back to the More A Nine Skills channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, bros. Today we got the final of the European International Cup, the friendly competition, before the season kicks off here in Germany. We got some comments we want to look over. We got a lot of things we want to talk about. First of all, the top comment um, on the video it comes in from Malik. I think I said that right. It has 272 thumbs up, and it says, "Make this Career Mode two seasons for the young players." to develop please like so he can see and the real answer to it is is bros if you guys want a two season Dortmund career mode say no more if the love and support if I see you guys are enjoying the love and support is there boom we keep it going can we get 3,000 likes on this episode y'all smash 3,000 likes on yesterday's episode can we do it once again now there is a comment here that had a few thumbs up and it was actually I saw it a minute ago here it goes it comes in from my man Danny and it says bring in Zaha from Crystal Palace we can no longer bring in Zaha from Crystal Palace, ladies and gentlemen, because Zaha has moved to AC Milan. At least I just saw that. Again, big old thumbs up. To, uh, subscribe and turn your bell on so you never miss an episode. Sometimes sub boxes can be crazy. Ooh, look at this. Alex Grimaldo. This is actually someone who is linked to leave Benfica in January pretty heavily. And he leaves Benfica for $31 million. He goes over to Inter. The 22-year-old left back from Spain makes a move from Portugal to Inter. We got the boy Party. Wow. Leaving Atletico Madrid. And heading over to uh, Wolfsburg in Germany. So we're going to play against the big boy party for $36 million. That's a pretty good deal for them. Um, what else do we have, man? I know we saw the Zaha deal. I saw it. Braga makes a move with the West Ham right back. All right. Wow. We got Volan leaving Bayer Leverkusen here in Germany and heading over to Atletico Madrid for $30 million. So now Atletico Madrid now has a couple different strikers. You know what I mean? As, uh, uh, Griezmann being one of them and now Volan as well. Um, what else do we got here, man? Uh, I know Zaha moved. Parejo leaves Valencia for 41 million and goes to Spurs. That's crazy. This is a big move here. Sporting's Bas Dos, who is one of the top goal scorers in Portugal whenever he's healthy, moves to Bayer, Leverku Bayer Leverkusen here in Germany. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. See what the big number nine can do. See if he can get a lot of goals in Germany like he did in Portugal. And then Zaha, 47 million from Crystal Palace to AC Milan in Italy. That's a pretty big move for them as well. Looks like AC Milan trying to make a, a comeback to be the AC Milan we all know they were. So they're trying to come back. Get back. Oh, Balotelli leaves Nice, or Nice, however it's said, and moves to Sevilla in Spain. All right, so big boy Balotelli's going to Spain. Wolves pick up a player from Atletico Club, or Atletic Club. And we obviously picked Alex, uh, Alex up, Arnold. Um, What else do we got, man? Oh, man, I, I got a sneeze. I, I've never done a video and had to sneeze. What, what's happening? Also, we picked up Timor Werner, who's an absolute beast. And we also let Piszczek head over to Napoli. So a lot of crazy different deals, man. I'm still kind of surprised by the party deal. But, hey, it is what it is. Now, there is a comment that comes in from my man Fast Food Gaming 14. And it says, get Davis. He's from the MLS, 77 rated, can go up to an 87. He's 17 years old. He's Canadian. Like if you agree. 74 thumbs up. So, there is a young Canadian in the MLS that goes by the name of Davis. Um, you know, there's only one thing we can do is find out. Find out what he's all about. He's supposed to be 17 years young. I don't see him here. All right. Um, this is going to be actually kind of hard to find now. Um, he said his name is Get Davis. That's what he said his name is. I spelled it right. Let's go to the MLS real quick, bros, and see if we can find this. Unless, am I getting trolled? Oh, there wouldn't be that many thumbs up if I was getting trolled. Let's be honest with each other. Um, the MLS, where we at, baby? MLS, MLS, did I pass it again, bros? Did I pass it? I might have passed it. Yeah, I might have passed it like 10 times. Three times. Oh, there it is. Boom. MLS. Um, he said he's Canadian. So, let's go ahead and put Canadian. Um, damn, it changes here? Why is the league changing? Oh, I was supposed to put nationality up here. Here we go. Um, let's go to Canadian. We're going to try to find this kid that you're telling me to go after, man. Um, the young Canadian. Did I pass Canada? Might have passed Canada. I don't want to look dumb over here. There's big boy Canada right there. All right. And then we need to make his age 17. I'm going to take it to 18 and see if we can find the young man that you're telling me to go pick up. We'll leave it at 19. Let's see if we can find him. Here we go. All right. A few players here. Is it Daniels? Was it Dan? Oh, here he is. Here he is. So, it's he he just forgot the E. It's D-A-V-I-E-S. All right, so he just forgot the E in it. His release clause is 12 million. 
He's a winger, bros. And his potential goes up to 87. What are we saying? Do we, do we talk to him? Do we make... His contract expires in 11 months. Can we get him on the low low because of that? I know. We, we don't need a winger, bros. We're kind of not in the market for a winger. But any young players that... Look at this four-star week for four-star skiller. You know what, bros? Uh, we do not know enough about the player. Well, he's at... His release clause is... is, 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 is is 12 so i'm gonna offer something around eight maybe maybe seven should we offer seven million they're probably gonna freak out and run out and if they do that's fine we'll come back by the end of the episode and maybe we'll buy his release clause out let's see what they say at seven million wow did i go too high there was that too much was seven million a bit too much was that a bit too much for the young 17 year old uh, the young 17 year old man did i offer too much there bros Mm, I hope not. I'm going to let them... Oh, they, they don't know enough to negotiate. Let me negotiate it, bros. I hope I didn't offer too much there. Seven, seven million. I mean, I feel like that's, that's a solid amount of money for a young kid. Am I crazy? I want him on a five-year deal. We still got 40 million left over, man. 14 million release clause. Deny the release clause. I'm not doing the release clause. We can move forward. That's what I'm saying. His wages, I'm happy with that. The only thing I'm a little bit kind of like, it, it, is did I pay too much for him overall? His release clause was 12 million. You know? His release clause was 12 million. So, here, let's just go with it. Hopefully, I didn't overpay for a young man, bros. But again, you know, his release clause was 12 million. So, I figured, hey, let's go with it. Also, guys, if you don't know how this series works, bros, by leaving a comment and if it gets top, top, top comment, I'm going to try to make the move happen. Oh, did I pay too little? He's a 72 overall right now. Did I pay? Was that a mistake, bros? I hear you guys tell me that he develops into a pretty good player. Let's look at his stats, man. 93 pace on him. 17 years old. 93 pace. 71 shot power. Four-star skill. A four-star weak foot. High, high. Left foot. Right mid, left mid. Canadian. I think he's a great player. I think this was a good buy, bros. I think this was a good buy. I know a lot of y'all might think I'm a little bit crazy, but I think that was a pretty good buy, man. Four-star week for a four-star skiller. Maybe seven million was a bit overkill, but I'm not really sure, man. Skills, don't train Warner. He's already at 83 overall. He will not take long to grow. Train, so you guys want me to train other players and not train Warner, T Timo Warner. Okay, I'm not going to train him, man. Thank you for the thumbs up right there. I'll, I'll Aldi, I think that's how I said your name right. All right, going through the, the comments real quick. Um, uh, Kulma, Kul, Kul, Kulmala, I think I said that right, with 70 thumbs up, says, skills, please use the 4 3 3 attacking with custom uh, formations um, and use Royce and Sancho at cam. And a 4 3 3 attacking with Royce and so you would bring them up as cams? I see what you're saying. I do see what you're saying. Ooh, Goretzka. Is this one of those moves where we like, okay, do we sell Goretzka? I mean, not Goretzka, Gutsa. Do we even want to sell Gutsa? Do we, like, is this, why, right? What's the point of selling Gutsa? You got to give me a good reason to sell Gutsa. And right now, I don't really see the point in selling Gutsa. Does that make sense? Maybe I'm crazy, but I don't think I really see the point. I'm going to let them fix it, and here it is, man. This is, is this the final, bros? I don't remember if this is the final or, this is the final. This is the final. We're going to simulate it. We've simulated all of preseason. We're going to simulate this last one. We got Paco and Timo, Royce and Pulisic, and Sancho and Witzel. And actually, you know what? The 4-3-3 attacking might actually be a good shout because I don't really care to play Paco and 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 Vorner. And Paco gets injured early on this game. That sucks. Zaha, Iguain, Suso. They have a pretty dang good team, uh, uh, AC Milan do. We're probably going to walk out of here with an L, to be honest with you. It's just preseason, so I'm not really tripping. I am tripping on the Paco injury, though. Look at Zaha, their new signing. Finds the back of the net. And we are going to lose in the final. But shout out to all my young kids at Dortmund. Making the fire final, playing well. The only thing that I'm a little bit upset about with this is Paco's injury. That's the last thing I wanted to see happen. Transfer offer for Shinji Kagawa. Paco's out for nine days. No problem. Shinji Kagawa, bros. Two players that have left Dortmund and then come back. And now there's a chance for them to leave again. Shinji Kagawa was up there in age, 29. 
29 he is. I really like Shinji, man. I really like Shinji Kagawa. I like him a lot, actually, man. Shinji Kagawa is one of those players I've always really liked. I also like Gutsa a lot. Two players I really enjoy, man. So I don't know if I really want to sell them. I know we can get our money game up, but I don't know if I really want to sell them. Does that make sense? Let's say we do go into a 4-3-3, bros. And if we do go into a 4-3-3, it's actually kind of chill because in a 4-3-3 attacking like this, in a 4-3-3 attacking like this, we can we could bench my man, um, we could bench uh, Paco, who's obviously got an injury. We could use Paco as a backup. I know he's having a great season out there right now, but we can use him as a backup. So our team would look like this. Royce can play um, Cam, Striker, or left wing. Sancho could play left wing or like either one. Pulisic could play. So we would keep like this. Sancho, Pulisic, Vorner, Royce at Cam. But this is actually what I'm thinking here, bros. I'm actually thinking about changing the 4-3-3 attack in a bit. Um, so what I would do here is move Royce. So grab Gutsa and put, put Gutsa right here for now. Bring him over here. Cam. Which, uh, which cell comes up like this for another Cam position? Let's bring him in a little bit. Back a little bit. Back a little bit. And then bring Goodsa up into the middle as a CM. Let's bring this back a little bit. Do they have this formation already? Am I crazy? Am I tripping? But this is what I'm thinking. I kind of want it to look like correctly. I can't even it out though. All right, so this is what I'm thinking. Yo, it's not even, bros. <laughs> I want it to be even. It's not even. All right, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, Witzel will play CM. And then you have Gutsa, Royce, Timo Werner, Sancho, and Pulisic. You got Shinji Kagawa who can come in for either of Royce or Gutsa. Um, you also have Davis who can help Sancho and Pulisic as a backup. We have another good young CM here at 22 years young. I kind of like the 4-3-3 like this, bros. He's more of a CDM than a CM. I mean, we could drop him back a little bit, to be fair. You know what I'm saying? I just don't know how much we would want to drop him back. CDM right there. How much can I go back before they're not cams anymore? Yo, to be fair, that actually kind of looks proper okay. Look at that formation. That kind of, we got the diamond in the middle, so it's like a 4-1-2-1-2. And then you got outside players as well. I'm not going to lie, I low-key like the way that looks. That's actually a pretty chill formation. I kind of really like the way that looks, to be honest with you. Um, so that's where we're at right now. That's our formation. And, and in the comments, I'm kind of just seeing like, set up, a, set, set up a scout and network in Germany like Dortmund have. Okay, um, say no more, baby. You guys want me to do stuff? I'm, I'm doing everything the comments want me to do, bro. Straight up, everything the comments want me to do, I'm doing, yo. Um, that's the Global Transfer Network. Where's our scout in you? All right, our scout in Germany. You guys, did I already set one in? I didn't set one in Germany, no. Let's set one in Germany now. This is three mil. I'ma take, I'ma use some money. He's expensive, but I'ma use some money here. Let's set it up. Let's do it in Germany. All right, in Germany, what are we looking for? We're looking for a player. That is, I say a playmaker. Let's make a playmaker. Let's get a playmaker. Let's find another Gutsa. Boom. We set this up. Money. We got our scouts working. Our formation is in play. Brand new custom formation. Overpowered formation, hopefully. We brought in a new young kid. Hopefully, I didn't play, pay too much for him. And now the question is, do I let Shinji Kagawa or Gutsa go? And I honestly don't know the actual answer to it. Because I kind of do want to sell them. What just happened here? Release clause for Phillips. 30 million. I'm confused. Release clause of 30 million has just been hit. What? Wait, who did they just buy? Wait, I'm conf Oh, my striker. Felipe? Is that how it's said? Wow, they just paid 30 million for this guy. Yo, is he nice? 30, you just, 30 million? They just came in and took 30 million for him. Wow, was he, I, he didn't even get a chance on the team. Is he nice? Well, now we're back up to like 50 million, 60 million. 
That came out of nowhere, bro. I did not see that came out of... Wow. Who bought him, actually? We'll have to find out, man. Who bought him? That came out of nowhere, bros. I'm, like, in shock. Hey, let me know in the comments, too, if you like me doing the transfer window like this, where it's not cut up, and I just, boom, everything's right in your face. You can see everything. Um, I enjoy doing it this way because you guys get the full experience with me, which is amazing, man. Um, the offer for Goodsa has uh, been canceled. Bro, I'm in shock right now. That striker, like, out of nowhere, they just come in, boom, and steal him. Sold. Who? Who? T. Wow. TSG from Germany took him for 30 million. We now have 26. The Shinji Kagawa deal. So now we are up in like the 60, 70 million. What do we do, bros? Transfer window is getting close to be by Rashford. Ooh. Road sold. Offer. Look at this, bro. Offers all over the place. So offer for 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 a young left back, right back. I might sell him to be fair. I actually might sell this kid. 20. I'm gonna let him go. You can go. All right? Top rack. 15 million. He's 29 years old. Can we buy a younger center back? Do we need top rack? We already have two good young center backs playing. We have one on the bench, the Frenchman. And then top rack is our number th three, four. Top rack is our fourth. Should we sell top rack at the age of 29 and turn around and buy a, a younger center back as a backup and just go fully young? Because we could buy a young center back and then after buying a young center back, we could buy someone like Rashford. I see that comment right there. Buy Rashford and Paco can be super sub. 47 thumbs up, bro. I low-key would not be mad at getting Rashford. On a team like this that's just super young, who would we get as a young center back, though, if I let Top Rack walk? Look at Rashford here, yo. His release clause is huge, though, bros. Huge, huge release clause on Rashford. We might be able to loan him. Should we loan Rashford? Should we loan him and then maybe buy him next season if we stay on the club? We could loan him. We actually could loan him, to be fair. Would they loan him? No. So we would have to buy him. I wouldn't be mad at that, though. Going back to the Top Rack deal, I'm not selling Royce. Would we sell Top Rack? Look at that money they're offering. 19 million Monaco's offering. I'm going to try to get like 30. They're saying anywhere from 20 to 30. Let's try to get more money. If we can get more money, we make it happen. Bros, I don't want to go too far. Uh, cause this, this is important that we, we get this right, bro. Yo, this career mode is actually legit. Like I'm doing this career mode much different than I've ever done any career mode, bro. Any career mode. We are literally banking on these young kids carrying us through the season. And the shot error and stuff is going to be awful. And we're banking on that. We're going to offer up 23 million for top rack. If I get 25, we're making it happen. Done. In the comments down below. Help me find a replacement for Top Rack. We need a replacement for Top Rack. And he has to be a young center back under the age of 22. Juventus are trying to get Royce from me. It's not happening. Get out of my face. We need to replace Top Rack in the next episode. We now have, with the money coming in from Top Rack, at 25 million, plus 47, we're over 100 million. But, but, I don't want to waste more than 30 million on Top Rack's replacement. Top rack left for 25. We're not going over 30 for the center back. It leaves us money to make some more moves. Someone like maybe like a Rashford, man. With that being said, bros, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Gameplay for sure in the next episode. The season's about to start. I'm excited, bros. I don't want to make this episode too long for you guys, though, man. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I. Top rack is gone. He has left. Um, top rack is sold. We get an offering for another young player. This is not happening. This is not happening. Get out of my face. 22 years old, 80 overall. Get out of my face. The young kid's not leaving. Top rack is staying. Um, I feel pretty good where we're at. Who do we open the season again? But I hope, hopefully we open it against someone like Bayern. Oh, oh, this is it. It's almost at the season, bros. We're almost there. Big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm having a blast. Next episode, the season kicks off. Woo! I'm excited, baby. Please, a replacement for top rack. And should we buy someone like Rashford or not? Blow it up in the comments down below. Love y'all. Booyah.